What's going on YouTube? You're chilling with Trainers Abza. We are here for the PGL LC tournament. This is round one, and this is actually gonna be my first time participating, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. In live competition mode, you can participate in official competitions at certain events. Uh, for more information about official competitions, uh, blah, blah, blah. Receive digital player ID? Yes. This is actually my first time like doing this, so I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. The music is nice, though. It reminds me of Super Smash Brothers, although Super Smash Brothers may have used it from this. Oh, my hair. Is it, is it receiving the digital player ID? It is, right? This is actually taking a very long time. Um, I think I'm gonna come back cut back to it when it's done its thing so be right back guys okay I think I actually messed up um, I went and looked on to what it, oh treasure's been found someone in Japan all right good luck man uh, I, I think I messed up I, I meant to do something else but uh, I, I found out what to do it's all good oh my god already up with the big boys huh okay mistrevis sneasel Scyther, Murkrow, Remoraid, interestingly enough, and Dwebble. Okay, um, who am I going to lead with? He's got a fake out user, so I got to bring Yanma. Um, it doesn't look like... He has a setup sweeper potential in Dwebble, so I should bring Wooper. And... The Scyther, I'm going to need to bring a Magmite just in case. And I'm pretty sure this setup can handle whatever he's got on his team. So, let's give it a shot, everyone! My first... First PGL LC match. I actually was not going to participate because I don't have enough time, but... My friend, um, Sea Slug, uh convince me to have time so C slug go ahead and plug your channel down in the comments once <laughs> ah here's dwebble fuck i could still go into magnemite but i'm pretty sure it outspeed i'm pretty sure it would outspeed magnemite because double is actually kind of fast all right so you turn out of here Oh great, now my uh, roommate's cat. My roommate's cat decides now to not shut the hell up. Oh my god, Roxas! I might switch into Magnemite since I've got Sturdy. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It does, he does immediately try and Shell Smash. That, that's not gonna work as long as I've got my Sturdy intact. Because this Magmite is uh, is berry juice with with uh, sturdy, and with his stir with his sturdy broken, I should be fine to just go for flash cannon and knock him out. And he's not gonna want to try. You might want to try and switch in the Remoraid, but then I can hit it with a uh, thunderbolt, so I'll be fine there. Which, by the way, I decided to go with um, 18 instead of 19 HP. One, because I was too lazy to get that to breed for that last I uh, HP IV. But it also puts me at an even number of HP, which means my Oranberry will activate at 9 HP instead of 10. Just three times. Oh, damn it, it's only twice. I needed to hit three times for that to be useful to me. Does someone want to take care of Roxas? Sorry, guys. Sorry. There's always some kind of animal interrupting the recording. Hello, Scyther. I've been waiting for you. Vacuum Wave. What kind of Scyther runs Vacuum Wave? A non scarfed Scyther. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> you have to protect here. He's just gonna pull back. Okay. Please tell me you brought Murkrow. You brought Sneasel. Okay. Well, I'm already faster now, but I'm gonna go for another protect to stop the fake out. I mean, you have to know that's what I'm doing, right? So, what else could I possibly do? Yep, no fake out for you. Now, I don't think... Can I risk... I kind of don't have a choice. I was thinking if I could risk with the Scyther coming in or not. But, at the same time... It probably has Quick Attack, and I probably can't take an Ice Shard and Quick Attack. Okay, please don't be Sash. Please don't be Sash. I've seen so many Sash on Showdown. Whew. Okay, no Sash. And Speed Boost, yes. Now I'm definitely faster than any kind of Scarf Scyther. I mean, I'm pretty sure he wasn't Scarf, but you, you get what I mean. Air Slash, knock him out. Unless he has a berry or sash? Nope, that's it. All right, guys, we won our first PGL LC Little Cup battle. Since these are actually pretty short, I'm actually I'm gonna get five of them in a row if I can, because I can do up to 15 battles in one day. So I'm gonna do um, five in one day, or right, five in one video. So I will cut back to um, when we get the next battle. So, be right back, guys. Okay, it looks like we found a bat. We found a someone to battle. This doesn't look too threatening, but I don't want to jinx myself, so. Uh, I'm still gonna write down everything. God, that Snivy is actually a little terrifying. Um. Hmm. In case he brings the Metatite, I kind of want to bring Swirlix. This is tough. This is tough. I think I want to bring... I want to bring Wooper, because it looks like he has at least two setup sweepers, possible setup sweepers. But I don't want to bring it first. He only has one fake out user, but he might not bring it, so I'm, I'm gonna bring Yanma just in case because I can hit a majority of his team. I'm gonna bring Wooper. I need to watch out for Snivy though, and before that Snivy, I'm going to bring uh, Sneasel possibly or Magnemite. I was running out. I guess I'll go Sneasel. I don't really want to do it, but I got, I got to. I can't take the risk. Here we go, our second PGL LC match. Oh, good luck, JD. I think it was JD from Texas. Good luck, man. First starting with the Ponyta, huh? Air Balloon. All right, that's fine. If you're Jolly, then I do not want to stay in. So I gotta protect and switch. Okay, he's going for flame charge to up his own speed. I can't. One I'm pretty sure I can't one shot it with uh, with anything. So I'm gonna U-turn out of here. I mean, if I had ancient power, I would not be scared. But I don't have ancient power. So that will pop the balloon, which means Wooper can hit it now. I brought Wooper, right? I I was thinking of bringing Diglett, but I I'm pretty sure I brought Wooper. Yeah, I brought Wooper. Okay. I can resist any kind of hit here, and the only thing that could possibly hit me is if he has either Solar Beam or Sunny Dip. Oh, hey, bounce! Awesome. I can either hit it with an Earthquake on the way down, or... Hmm. Well, that's really only the only thing I can do. I would love to kill this thing. The bounce is still going to hurt, though. Ah, it doesn't hurt as much as I thought it would. And down goes Ponyta. Okay, so Ponyta's down. He could still have any of those six he had before. What are you running? Pedalil. Alright. 
I could let myself get knocked out here, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to bring in Sneasel. Sneasel should be able to take a hit as long, even if it's like um, Leaf Storm, which I don't think it gets. Energy Ball. Okay. Ow. I still take that okay, though. I brought in Sneasel because I thought that it might... I couldn't remember if it got Sleep Powder or not, and if it did then um, I have a Lumberry on Sneasel, so I would just wake up instantly. Alright, you know... Okay, he's gonna show me his last Pokemon here. Metatite! Fuck. Alright, I can't stay in against this. Boober, it's been good knowing you. I'm pretty sure he's going to knock Wooper out. Brick Break? Why on earth would you have Brick Break? Yeah, I know. I know you're hurting, Wooper, but I'm sorry. You can't do anything. Poison Chip. Alright. He's not Scarfed, so my Sneasel would outspeed regardless. That's why I switched out Sneasel, because I wasn't sure if he's Scarfed. But, uh, Yanma should be able to knock him out, no problem. Um, do I risk the miss? No, I'm sure Bug Buzz could knock him out. Better go with Air Slash. I know Bug Buzz can, is the better option. Like, it's, uh, Air Slash is super effective with the chance to miss. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, I think I've won this, because I could just bug buzz the pet a little. Unless it's running a um, sash. Which, that's possible. It could be running a sash. But in that case, I still have my, uh, I still have my, uh, Sneasel. Alright, bug buzz. Let's do this. And I think with that, we've won our second match. But still, this pet a little could just come, come surprise me out of nowhere. So, let's see what happens. And Sash? Nope, that's it. Alright, GG man, that is the that is our second match, and we have won our second round of the PGL PG Ah PGL LC tournament. So I will cut back when we find the next one. Be right back. Alright, looks like we found one, everyone. We've got our thirteen our third match, and we're facing from someone someone in Japan. Okay, this looks interesting. Uh Cinda Quill. Shelter. Barrow Seed. Munchlax. Trap Inch. And Duskull. Okay. So, first off, I don't see any fake out users on his team, so I want to bring my fake out user in Sneasel. Next, I can see problems with that Pharaoh Seed and possibly the Shelter if it tries to Shell Smash, so I will bring Swirlix who can hit it on its weaker side, and then also Wooper, so I can also uh, prevent any sweeping. So with that, let's get to it. Alright. Oh man, this is so intense. I don't know why I'm so excited over this. Just. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just... It's Little Cup. It's a Nintendo tournament. I... This is my jam. And I know it's only going to get harder as I go on. Ooh. I think this is an easy knockout for me. Because... Dusko without its Violite cannot take many hits. Yeah, there it goes. Jesus. Alright. Dusko down. <laughs> Lefties. Uh, well, I guess some people don't know. I mean, if anything, I'd say that the Munchlax on his team is more suited to the Leftovers. Because that it actually gets enough... Um, it has enough HP to have recovery up to two points for it. Cyndaquil. I don't like this. Bring in Wooper. Because if he's Scarf Eruption, this could be problematic. But otherwise, Wooper should be able to deal with him just fine. 
Alright, fine. Good. Let's get off that earthquake. Even if you brought Pharaoh Seed, I should be okay. What did you bring? Pharaoh Seed. I knew it. I knew it. That did an okay amount. Alright, let's get Swirlix in here. He's probably going to go for a Bullet Seed or something. Yep, Bullet Seed. There it is. Depending on how many hits he gets, he can activate my Ornberry. He did not activate my Ornberry. That's fine. I'm going to Flamethrower him because I want him dead. I don't think that berry's going to help you very much. Oh, it did! Wow! Oh, this is going to hurt. Ow. Ow. That was a good play by my opponent. But then again, it's the same thing about having like a grass a uh, grass berry on my um, whooper. I mean, I definitely have speed now, so I'm going to earthquake again. Actually, I think I'm a minus speed nature. I might not outspeed. Oh, there it is. I think that only weakened the damage from the first hit. God, I'm dumb. I just failed right there. If he's not Scarf, if he's a Scarf Cynical, then I just flat out lose. But then again, he went Flamethrower, so why would he be Scarfed? Uh, Ice Shard doesn't make contact. That Iron Head did way too much. How did it do that much? I should have just gone into Sneasel to begin with. Whoops. Well, there's me screwing myself over again. Alright. Just knock off. I believe in you, Sneasel. He's not Scarf. Oh my god, so close! He's Sash! He is Sash! Fuck! And he get it. He get if he's not. Yeah, I'm good. That was a good match. That was a good match. I made a mistake there. I admit I made a mistake, and I fucked my own mouth. <laughs> oh man, I want to. I want to fight him again if I can, because I know I screwed up there. No, I'm not gonna save that. Oh man. All right, I'll be back with the next one. Be right back. All right. Seems we got another one. Uh, oh, come on. Another one from Japan. Okay, this one is... Sneasel. Magnemite. Timber. Scyther. Drillbur. And Tortuga. Okay, I see, like... What, at least three set potential set sweepers on his team, so Wooper is not has to be here. Yanma, I'm gonna bring. I have to bring Wooper, and that Scyther is gonna cause me problems. So I best bring Magnemite. Okay, I think that's good. Is that good? God, I hope so. Because this guy looks. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Mainly because of the timber. But still, it looks like he knows what he's doing. Oh, I brought Yanma, right? Yeah, I did. God, this is... Uh, Nerve-wracking. I don't want to screw myself over in this one. I want to play smart. I wonder if, my, if I wasn't in minus speed nature, if Hooper would have outsped. Dude, time, time's a waste and come on. There you go. Whew, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Good luck, man, good luck. This is our fourth PGLLC match. Hello, Sneasel. Kind of expected you first, not gonna lie. Alright, let's get off that Protect first. 
because we know that fake out's coming. We know full well that fake out's coming. Based off his team, this would probably be the most likely thing to be, to be sashed, so I'm going to U-turn on him. Yep, yep. Or no. No, he wouldn't pull back if he was sashed. Hello, Magnemite. Goodbye, Magnemite. Uh, what would he be? What would he be? I should have brought Diglett. But no, Wooper should be okay here. As long as he's not HP Grass. If he has Scyther, then I should be okay. If he has anything else, what could he bring that would screw me over? The only thing that could probably screw me over is if this Magnemite is holding him card Grass. I'm, in which case, I'm still going to go for Earthquake. If you brought Scyther, then that actually could work for me. Drillbur. Okay. I don't know why you... Oh! Oh, Mold Breaker. Oh, Mold Breaker. That can go through my unaware. That can go through my unaware. Do not let him shut up with Swords Dance. Oh, Stealth Rock. Oh, that's fine. Now, what else did he bring? He brought... He brought Sneasel. Well, I bet an Ice Shard will knock me out after, after that thing, so... <laughs> Hello, Sneasel. I'm gonna show you that you don't fuck with a whooper. <laughs> now, this knockoff shouldn't knock me out. Oh, but he's Life Orb. That could knock me out. Let's see how much this does. All of it! Freaking Life Orb! I might get swept by the Sneasel. Genuinely, I could get swept by the Sneasel. Because my Magnemite has worse defenses than Wooper, and it's coming in on only 1 HP more than it. God dang. Alright, Flash Cannon. That's all I can do. I think he had the perfect setup. Although, why he's switching, I have no idea. Like, why are you switching? Do you have Magnet Pool or something? Because that's the only reason I could think that you're in here right now. Why would you be in here unless you actually, you know... I don't get it. What's your angle? Hidden Power Fire. I bet he's Magnet Pool. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind that. This guy knew what he was doing. I do not mind losing to him. Really wish I brought Diglett, though. That would have helped so much. I was so afraid of his setup sweepers that I didn't even bother bringing anything to counter whatever he brought in the first place. Let's go for an air slash and try and flinch him. I know it's works resisted, but it's just to break the sturdy. Oh, and that was a crit. Wow. Okay, that was a crit. All right, GG, man. I didn't want to lose, but I lost anyway, so that's fine. Um, you, are, you are obviously the better player here, and you're going to go far in this tournament. You prepared for the full tournament, and you brought a, and you brought a, you played well. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so I will be right back during the next one. So be right back, guys. Why is everyone replaying from Japan? No, that's not true. We had one person who wasn't from Japan. So this is our fifth battle, I think. So let's see. Tyrant. Pumpkaboo. Uh, Swirlix. Vulpex. Bulbasaur. And Froakie.
I don't see a... I don't see a fake out lead, so I'm gonna bring Sneasel. Um, I'm afraid of the, that he's got mostly mo with the mostly grass types on his team. Wooper isn't gonna be that useful, so I think I'll bring Diglett to trap the Vulpix in case I need to. And Swirlix might actually be uh, worth it to try and set up on my team, or to set up for me. So let's give it a shot. This is our fifth match. We, we're two for two now. God, I've got some. Right off the bat, I'm getting some good little cut players. Well, one of the guys w wasn't really good. I just fucked up. But you get what I mean. We've had a we've had a run in with uh, at least one good player, and yeah. Oh, shiny. This is bad. This is actually very, very bad. Because if he... I don't know what I'm going to do if he happen. I got to switch out to my own Swirlix right now. I, I can't risk anything. Because there's a very, very, very good chance that he's just going to set up Cotton Guards and stuff. Oh, he's a special set. That did way too much! Like, really, that did way too much. Holy crap. I gotta set up a Calm Mind so that doesn't do as much. Is he Choice Specs? He could be Choice Specs. I'll get my HP back with the Draining Kiss, but still, what the hell? That is all I have to say. I can't switch out now. I've already got my burden boost. Oh my god. I'm setting up another Calm Mind. I gotta break through that light screen. And now Flamethrower, is he trying to burn me? What kind of hacks BS is he doing? Although I will admit, the uh, infatuation does work to prolong the um, turns. Because now I can prolong the, um, the light screens. What are you doing, man? Alright, I need to get, get some HP back. At least some. God, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. I should be able to take... There's the burn he wanted! He can get the 10% burn, but I can't get the 50% chance to get the, uh... Oh my god. Draining Kiss, for the love of god! Draining Kiss! Fuck. You. Fuck. You! Fucking bullshit. Freaking bullshit! Alright, try and attack the male Diglett, you asshole. You know what? I'm gonna try and go for game here. Fuck it. Break any potential sash. I'll go for Earthquake next turn. We'll be good. Wow, I actually took it? Whatever. I find it odd that he survived, that he took that so well. Lefties, of course, okay. All right, Sneasel, give me a hand here with some uh, fake outs and a, an ice shard. The, those combined should be enough to knock it out. So, fake out does a pretty good amount, actually. And from where I'm at, a stab ice shard should finish him off. He got the burn. 
and the attract? What are you doing? God damn, asshole. I haven't even seen the rest of his team yet. But fucking attract, really? I gotta remember, I gotta remember this is open to everyone, so there can, there can be some really, really bad players here. I can understand that on like a, some kind of rivalry set, but still! Okay, Tyrex is actually kind of a threat. What would we do more, knockoff or brick break? Knockoff is stab and it'll be 95 power, so that'll be almost 150 power. Brick break will be, will actually be 150 power though. I'll go for the brick break. Got to go. Got to go for it. It did not knock him out, and it got him down to a barrier. Earthquake! I could survive. Yes. And I've got ice shard. Awesome. What I don't understand is, why didn't he have Berry Juice? Or she, whichever. If she or she, he or she had Berry Juice, they would have definitely won this game. Pumpkaboo! I got it! I got this! And you can't even Will-O-Wisp me. Well, you can, but I get healed immediately. Shadow Sneak, that's fine. I could take at least two, right? Yeah, I could take two. Now, let's go ahead and knock off you. There we go, and that is the game. Attract, what is wrong with you? So, oh, weakness policy. Okay, talk of the day, guys, since we're at the final episode for this part. This is the fifth battle, so uh, we're done for this part. We managed to go get a little above average. Um, hold on, let's see our ranking right now. Uh, yeah, I'll save it, sure, why not? But, uh, come on, show me my ranking. Uh... Well, I guess it's not going to show me my ranking. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this. Be sure to be ah, be sure to tune in for the next episode, and I will see you all then. Bye.